Some of the challenges facing primary care in today's environment revolve around an aging population with more medically complex cases, decreasing reimbursement, increasing cost, time, diagnosis, staff. You're seeing more frustrated patients seeking alternatives, worried about their future insurance. Most patients in today's medical environment are faced with usually about a national average, about a 50 or 60 minute wait to see the doctor for five or six minutes. So their level of frustration with the system today is ever increasing. All of these factors really play into decreased job satisfaction for the doctor, and it's just harder to keep that zest for patient care alive day to day. When you deliver handheld ultrasound services right uh, in the ambulatory care center, your patients are really impressed by this service. When you use uh, the proper explanation of what you're doing, why you're doing, how it benefits the patients, it, it changes the way your patients look at you as you deliver medicine. There are technologies that can be brought into the office, brought to the bedside, brought um, home on house calls that deliver information that is easily interpreted, beneficial to the patient, and economical to use. I came in for abdominal pain and you worry about a gallstone and you can look and see if there's a gallstone and instead of them being sent to a surgery center or an emergency room or a scanning center at another day, waiting for another two hours, paying for that expensive care outside the system, where it's a simple diagnosis perhaps with office-based handheld ultrasound. Again, it does, does the patient no harm, it does a great deal of good, it's a wonderful way to follow therapeutics. Um, and when you deliver that kind of service to your patients, you really differentiate yourself and patients really go, wow. If you use ultrasound for preventative care delivery, what's the value of preventing a heart attack or stroke? If you can motivate a patient, convincing them that they should be compliant with their statin therapy, along with diet and exercise, the power of that, I think, is a very difficult thing to measure, but certainly I believe it will save, ultimately, patients' lives, improve their wellness, and ultimately save the system money.